I'm so excited to launch my brand new book, Astrology Realized, Your Journey to Understanding Astrology. Buy it now on Amazon.com. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2013. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month, Venus moves into your sign as she does about once a year or so. And this tends to represent a time when you are allowing yourself to receive. And that's what I really love about this month for you. Now, I'm not saying that every single thing in the sky is perfect and harmonious and easy and flowing. Thankfully, that's not the case. But what I am seeing is that you are able to take all of life's events in greater stride and you are able to recognize your inherent sense of worth within it all but this isn't always necessarily just a superficial move so yes on one hand sure venus is quite superficial she does have to do with beauty and uh, feeling good and being pampered and pleasure and the joys of life the joys of being a human being and enjoying being incarnated and all the implications that that has and so that energy certainly is available to you but there's another deeper more spiritual implication although i do think to be fair all of it is spiritual every single aspect of being here on earth is spiritual having said that when I look at this idea of you being willing to receive love and how you are being asked to look at yourself with kinder eyes, with more loving eyes, that's where I think the greatest promise is. Late in the month, Venus is going to meet Saturn in your sign and activate the grand trine in water along the way. So there is this very fortunate aspect to that. There is a dreaminess aspect to this, but once Venus actually meets Saturn, that's when I think really the distinctive moments of this month are going to take place for you. Because it is around that time that you get honest with yourself about what it is that you do deserve. But more than that, what I am seeing is that a part of you actually is quite surprised by what you manage to attract, what does actually come. And a part of you might not necessarily know how to accept the opportunity or the gift that's on offer or how to actually receive that love that is on offer for you. Now, for some of you, this is going to be relationships. Certainly, that is a very strong possibility. But for others of you, this may be another opportunity that has to do with you expanding your sphere. And that's what it really comes down to. I do think that this is a month of a lot of change. Yes, there's a lot of joy. And so you've got to understand that the joy is actually leading you to the change. And that means that you've got to trust your joy. I started out by saying a lot of people would dismiss Venus moving into your sign as a superficial energy coming in, but I don't necessarily see it that way. I think that this is an energy of blessing that is coming in, and I also think that this is an energy of love, and love in its purer form or purest form as well. Love in every form is what you are attracting to you now. But thanks to Saturn, you are going to find ways to ground that love. You are going to find ways to utilize this blessing so that it actually changes your practical life. Whether it is a relationship that you want to see some progress in, or whether it is more personal, whether it's you actually achieving a goal or being open to different opportunities, all of these are possible for you this month. Trust what you enjoy, trust what brings you happiness, and trust what brings you pleasure. It will lead you to some very solid gains. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.